Inside of our coaching program at Heartletics, we go over the four pillars of success, which is your mental, your physical, your spiritual, and your emotional. Now that last one, the emotional, that's the one that people seem to have a hard time dealing with. And honestly, it's just because I, I think in general, people don't like to share or express their emotions and their feelings. But what happens is they kind of keep it all bundled up inside, you know, and it just hurts them. It doesn't hurt anybody else. It only hurts them. Imagine like if you have somebody out there that I don't know, you're comparing yourself to or let's just say there's a lot of hate and, and you know, whatever you despise somebody and they don't even know it. It's just you don't like that person. Maybe you're just envious of them. Well, guess what? Like that's not even affecting them. That's affecting you. Right. And those emotions, right, can make you very stressed out, raising those cortisol levels. And I talk about it all the time when you're underneath a lot of stress, you know, lacking sleep, uh, stress with emotions, stress with your mindset, stress with your results, stress at work, stress at home. When you're underneath all this stress, it can become very, very hard to lose body fat. You know, that cortisol level, that spike in your body has so many negative factors when it comes to fat loss, when it comes to overall just optimizing your health. And once again, people don't understand that just emotionally, right? They're carrying all this, you know, hate or all this anger or all this jealousy or pride or whatever the case may be, you know? And we talk about it as the good wolf versus the bad wolf all the time right? Where, you know, the good wolf, that's the love, that's the joy, that's the peace. And then you have the bad wolf, right? Which is the hate, the anger, the pride, the ego. And at the end of the day, it's a vicious battle, but it's all about who you feed at the end. That's who's going to reign supreme. That's who's going to win and be victorious in this vicious battle. So I want to share with you guys, all right? I, I, I love having coaching calls with our members and I had a great one with Jason and You need to understand that just in how this works, right? In today's age, right? Especially with like different things like, you know, Instagram and TikTok reels and, you know, uh, shorts on YouTube, right? People's attention spans are getting shorter and shorter and shorter, okay? They're having a hard time paying attention. So what I'm understanding and learning also is that people need analogies, quick little analogies to help them when it comes to understanding something. It's like a little metaphor. And I want to share with you guys a really cool one that I got done talking with Jason about that really helped him out. Okay. So let's just say that you have an empty glass. Okay. It's a cup of water, right? And, um, you know, it's a, it's just whatever, just a glass of water, right? Hopefully you understand what I'm saying here. Okay. And you got all these different food colorings, right? And let's just say that the positivity, right, are the higher, you know, vibrational food colorings are like your brighter colors, yellow, light blue, light green, right, different things like that. And let's say the food coloring that's darker, right, is like your negative vibrational energies or your negative vibrational, you know, emotions, right? So pride, uh, anger, fear, depression, right? The ego, all that stuff, right? Well, I'll put it to you like this. And hopefully, you know, especially if you're a parent watching this or listening to this, do this exercise with your kids and teach them the importance of emotions because you can't really clear yourself, right? No matter how much you work on your mindset. And we talk about mindset a lot at Heartletics with mindset of like, you know, practicing different techniques of like meditation, affirmations, visualizations, gratitude even, you can't, you you can't even focus on doing all that stuff when you're just putting all that, let's just say like the good things about the mindset on a pile of crap. Okay. Like, and so that pile of crap needs to get out of you. Okay. So back to the food coloring. Hopefully you're still with me. So you got this glass of water and let's say love, right? Is like yellow. And let's say hate is let's say dark purple, okay? Or like black, whatever the case may be, right? Just a dark color. Well, guess what? You can put the whole little dabs of food coloring for the love, which is yellow, into that glass of water. And that glass of water now is just bright yellow. But guess what? One little drop 
of the black for the hate is going to mess up that color. You throw in a few more, man, it's going to be so hard to ever get back to that yellow. The only way that you can clear yourself, and once again, if you're a parent, do this little exercise with your kids. Teach them the importance of emotions. Teach them the importance of being emotionally stable. And like, this can help out so much in just today's society with, you know, and this is the importance of like having people that you can trust, having people that you can talk to. And this is why, once again, we talk about Heartletics with the community groups so much. And I'll get into that here in a little bit. But run this exercise with your kids or do it with yourself just to have a visual and just learn how it actually works. You have, you know, this glass of water with all this yellow in it for love. And then you just start putting in a few drops of black or a few drops of like dark brown or dark purple, right? The, the negativity, the hate, the depression, the comparison, the ego, right? All those, those negative, you know, vibrational emotions. Start putting into that glass. It's going to distort that whole entire color. And the only way that you can clear yourself is by dumping out that liquid, by dumping out that water, by dumping out all that crap. And, and it's just like the same metaphor of like, let's say, you know, what happens when you put a little Mentos into a Coca-Cola bottle? It explodes, right? Well, hey, at the end of the day, it's probably because all that Coca-Cola you got inside of you is a bunch of crap. And so you need to get out of it, right? You need, you need to relieve yourself of that. You need to, you know, find people in your corner, right? That are going to be there for you. That's going to support you. But also you can trust, you know, think about it. Uh, Us as human beings, right, everybody deals with stress, everybody, at home, at work, eternally with our own mindsets, right, constantly stressing out, hey, should we do this, should we do this? I see it all the time with people trying to lose body fat on their own. They'll dabble into keto, they'll dabble into fasting, dabble in a little bit of this, dabble in a little bit of this, and it's that over-analysis paralysis, right? They do a little bit of this, do a little bit of this, but then they confuse themselves. Well, hey, I saw this guy do this. I saw this guy do this. Let me go do this now. And it never really works for them. It's not really sustainable. They never see the results. So you, right? Who I'm speaking to right now, who's listening to this, whatever kind of stress you're dealing with right now, remember, it doesn't matter. You can go in the mirror and say affirmations all you want. You can write down the things that you're grateful for all you want. But at the end of the day, if you see, let's say somebody on Facebook that you despise, and you have a lot of you know hate or jealousy or comparison, whatever, that's going to mess up everything because, and maybe that's happened with you. Maybe you start off the day perfectly fine, but something happened with one of your coworkers that you don't like. Maybe they got a promotion or somebody said something that just made you feel the wrong way and it ruins your whole entire day, right? So how do you relieve yourself of that? How do you clear yourself of that? So that way you don't end up feeling like that anymore. And remember, I didn't say them, I said you. Because when you're hating on somebody, when you're jealous of somebody, when you're prideful, whatever the case may be with all these negative emotions, right? That's on this low vibrational plane. Guess what? It's only affecting you. It's only hurting you. So don't think, hey, let's go say affirmations and fix it. No, that's a band-aid to the gunshot wound. That's like if someone's going to try keto and cutting out their carbs, expecting to lose body fat and reach their goals. Guess what? You're going to lose some water weight because carbs store water. It's a band-aid to the gunshot wound. It's just like the same people that go ahead and get lipo surgery and right and, and get the, you know, all these different weight loss surgeries. Well, think about it. They don't change their habits, right? They don't change who they are, their identity. They get the surgery and then years later, they end up going right back and regaining all that weight right back. They go back to their old ways. So you need to change your identity. You need to change your habits. And one of the best ways that you can do that is having people that support you, having people that you can talk to. Because guess what? It's just like you're dumping out the Coca-Cola so the Mentos, when it drops in, hey, it doesn't explode. It's just like when you take all that, you know, black food coloring and put it into the cup of water and you're dumping out the water and then you're starting fresh with a brand new glass of water, crystal clear, you can start putting back in the yellow, the higher colors, right? For the vibrational planes, that's higher, right? More love, joy, peace. 
but it's only when you relieve yourself. It's only when you take that stuff and, and get it off your chest. How many times have you had it in your life where, you know, you had some beef with somebody and you end up just coming to terms and just talking things out and it was great, right? Uh, for me, for example, back when I did MMA and boxing, like, of course, like you want to kill your opponent, right? Like the whole entire fight camp, every time you hit the bag, like you're focusing on taking off somebody's head off. You hate that person. You're forced to. You step in the rain, right? They're staring right at you. You're staring right at them. And you're getting that like kill or be killed mentality, right? Maybe it's boxing, same thing. It's kill or be killed. But afterwards, you're like best friends because it's just like you duped it out. You got it all out of your system, right? There's no hate there. It's just, hey, we're training to compete against one another. That's it. But then you're like best friends afterwards, right? I Literally, like I, all my opponents, right? Maybe except for a few, all my opponents, right? Like I'm all friends with them on Facebook. Like we all keep in touch. Like it's, it's fun, you know? So, and you probably realistically have some people in your life or relationships that at one point or another, you didn't get along, but you talked it out. Right? Maybe you had to deal with something like called stepping outside your comfort zone, having those uncomfortable situations and conversations, right? clearing the, ear, the air, so to speak. You feel really good afterwards. So let this message be a reminder to you that at the end of the day, guess what? We're all faced with stress, but that stress that you're dealing with, right? it's not going to affect the situation. It's not going to affect anybody else. All it is is going to affect you and it's going to stop your progress from having success. The only way to really relieve yourself of some of this stress, especially if it's emotional stress, which is a lot in today's society, is by relieving yourself of that. One of the best ways to do that, that we focus on at Heartletics, is using our community groups. Because guess what? It's guys in your corner that support you. It's guys in your corner that love for you and care for you and they want to help you out every single step of the way. So that way you're not struggling with this anymore. You're not doing this alone anymore. Like how you have been, right? It doesn't have to be hard. It's only hard when you let your ego, the bad wolf, get in the way telling you, hey, we don't need to talk to anybody about this. We don't need a vent. That's not, no, we don't need to do that. We got this. Hey, let's do this option. Let's do this. Let's do this. We don't need anybody's help. Guess what? It makes things harder for you down the road, a lot harder for you, especially emotionally. And second, you waste your time. And that's the most precious commodity here on earth. It ain't money because they print new money every single day. It's that time, right? And that time that we're spending here on earth, we should be trying to focus the most with, hey, how much love can we put back out? How can we help others instead of hurt others? And then instead of being jealous or envious of others and compare ourselves to others and be prideful and have all this hate, hey, what can we do to give? What can we do to help out more? And you'll understand this, that when you focus on helping out others, it actually helps you get one step closer to your goals. Because those goals that you have, it's not on the pedestal anymore, baby, right? Because now we're focused on helping out somebody else, reaching their goals. And it attracts us way faster to reaching our goals. And it really gets into your subconscious thinking. And we could talk about this for days on end. But the quick takeaways, right, from today's episode that I want you to understand is that at the end of the day, hey, you probably got some some crap in you, right? Some 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 Coca-Cola, maybe some some discolored, you know, water that's all dark and polluted. You can't just put mindset techniques like affirmations, gratitude, you know, all these different things on top and that foundation to be clear. No, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. It's a band-aid to the gunshot wound. The only way to clear out your foundation and build it up stronger again, right? And firm so that way it's not unstable. It's not going to fall over and collapse. You don't want to be emotionally weak is by relieving yourself, is by dumping it out, having people in your corner that you could talk to. That's it. You need support. Les Brown said it best. Birds of a feather flock together. Hang around with life with losers, you become a loser. Hang around with life with winners, you become a winner. You will become like the sum of the five people that you hang around with the most. Who are the people that you're hanging around with? Do they love you? Do they support you? Do you trust them enough to open up and vent and talk to them? Because I'm pretty sure that if you have those people in your corner, 
uh, it's going to help you out so much when it comes to building up more emotional strength.